everyone. I'm back here on Castle Moor Organic Farms and today we're going to do mullein. This is the mullein plant. It's the, the leaves on it is used for the chest. They're very, very fluffy and you know, just it just feel the texture on them is lovely and soft and they're really for cleaning the lungs, maybe for um asthma. They were used for T B, um, for pleurisy, for whooping cough. Um, dry dry coughs anything like that it's just they're just so, so so soft we're going to take off just a few leaves here just show you how to to dry them now a few parts of it there has a bit of mildew I won't go near them there's a bit of mildew in there these are perfect for drying or bringing in and just making a tincture or a tea but today we're just going to bring bring them in and show you then the dry when they are dried inside and we'll show you how to make a tincture and maybe actually an oil from the flowers when this grows this is a biannual plant so it means it's two years this will grow up here and have loads of yellow flowers so you pick off the yellow flowers dry them and put them in an oil we'll do that now in a second now we're back in the kitchen now this is the mullein i've gathered maybe about four weeks ago out on the farm and i just put a thread through each of the leaves and I hung it up like that in a dark airy room and just to let it dry so it took about four weeks to dry it's dry enough now when I can hear the crispiness and it just tears it's very easy to do so that's great so now I'm going to make a tincture what I need is a, a board a chopping board a pair of scissors and a knife and a bottle of, of vodka okay so I'm going to go ahead and just cut up the herb like that as fine as you can chop it and get it into the to the jam jar and in it goes to the jam jar and we have it full in this stuff. scissors might be better Right, so we've filled the jar with the mullein leaves and we're going to fill it now with the vodka. And just in it goes. You, t you, you make sure that it's, it's like, there's no air pockets in it because you don't want air pockets. And you want the alcohol to come above the herb. Okay, just like that maybe, hold that. And then push it down with a wooden spoon. And every day you're going to check this, that the herb is staying down there. I don't want it up above the, the alcohol because it will go mouldy and you don't want that. So keep it pressed down there. You're going to put this um, in a, I'm going to put the lid on it and put it in a dark cupboard for about four weeks. But every day I'm going to go at and, and see that the herb is not going, not going on top. I need to stay under the alcohol. So that's that done. Always label your, your anything you do, label it. So now we're going to make tea. So we're going to make tea now. So again, just chop, chop, chop as fine as you can. And that's that's nearly enough for a tea. Okay, you can cut it up finer if you want to. The more cells you break on it, the better. Okay, so chop it up as fine as you can. Okay, and into the cup. Boil and water. And just put the lid on it, put the sauce on it for about 10 minutes and it's ready to drink. So now we're doing the mullein flowers. So these are the ones I've gathered in maybe four or five weeks ago. I dried them off and I just stored them in, in a glass jar. So we're going to make this oil and it's generally used for uh, ear aches. So you're going to blend the olive oil with, with flowers, leave it on a window for two weeks, just two weeks, on a, sun, a sunny window and it's done and then you're going to drain off the herb. Okay, so they all go in there. I don't have a fall but that's okay. And then you always gather your herbs too on a, a sunny, dry day. 
in or around noon is the best time to pick them. Okay, so that's the olive oil just going in. And again, you don't want pockets of air down there. Okay, and the back of the wooden spoon, just press, press it down. And again, you're going to look at this, you're going to check it every day or maybe even twice a day and push down, make sure all the, the flowers are gone down. You can top that off again with another bit. And then after your two weeks, you're going to strain them off. Just uh, turn it over into a, a bowl, something like this, and, a, and a, a strainer and leave it overnight and it'll drip out. And there you are. I'm going to cover that lightly, maybe with a bit of material, or maybe I'll put on the lid. If it's if it's not if it's not dry material, if it's not dry flour, you're going to put a bit of material over. It. Just it there was a bit of evaporation because you don't want mold to settle in. And that's it. So about three drops of oil when you when you have it done into an ear, into the ear, and just you know they'll go to the side and. It'll be fine, you know, and then maybe the other ear if you want. Okay, so it's only three drops and that's that done. Great, so we have a tincture, an oil and a tea. Very easy. And so, so good. So good. <laughs>